And uh, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. Happy Fourth of July, Independence Day. Uh, great time, great celebration, great time with friends. And you know, every year it's almost like a new uh, independence, right? We have to keep our independence always, and we have to be vigilant uh, in doing so. But there's many veterans out there that may have an issue, not with the holiday and the fact that it's an Independence Day, 4th of July, but the loud fireworks uh, a lot of times, depending on what state you're in, right? Some of these things are illegal. Some of them aren't illegal. But uh, there's a lot of uh, anxiety that could be coming around the holidays. So I did want to share a little information, an article that I found. And um, yeah. oh, okay, fine. You kind of got me here a little bit. The title is what made me bring it up and want to talk about it, and you could probably guess why. All right, here's the title, the headline. Bearded Warriors provide tips on keeping veterans with PTSD safe during 4th of July celebrations. Never heard of them before. Uh, glad I found them so I could give them a little plug. I mean, with a name like that, come on. Bearded Warriors, love it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, read this little article, little piece, uh, just as an awareness uh, for uh, everybody out there. And uh, let's jump into it. Hit the thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, share with a friend. All that good stuff really helps to support the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, let's go. Uh, again, Bearded Warriors provide tips on keeping veterans with PTSD safe during 4th of July celebrations. Huntsville, Alabama. One local nonprofit is asking the community to be aware of their surroundings before lighting off fireworks this 4th of July. The Bearded Warriors, an organization made up of military and non-military citizens who provide help to veterans and their families, wants to remind everyone of their effects, of the effects of fireworks that fireworks can have on veterans suffering from PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. The organization aims to help veterans acclimate back into the world outside of the armed services. Many veterans suffer from PTSD when they return from service. There are several factors that can trigger a flashback, especially when veterans are caught off guard. Uh, Tim Randall with Bearded Warriors told News 19 that veterans often suffer from an episode when they lose control of their environment. And I'll tell you, I'll pause right there for a minute. So, I mean, even around my house, I've been hearing, you know, fireworks go off here and there. And, um, you know, it's, uh, you just, I mean, it could be, you know, late at night. It could be kind of in the middle of it. I mean, it's just, they're kind of going off. So it's basically kind of this whole week is like that. This and, and also uh, New Year's, right? Um, and guns, right? People are shooting off guns and, and all kinds of stuff. So, in any case, uh, this is especially true when people light off fireworks without warning during the 4th of July Fourth of July holiday. And again, to my point a minute ago, it could be on the 3rd, on the 2nd, on the 5th. So uh, it can kind of be whenever. While we don't, during the week, hear those at work, you can really be surprised, Randall said. So when you know you have a long day coming at work, you can prepare for that. When fireworks come, especially fireworks in your neighborhood, it's unprepared. So it's the surprise, the shock, and you're not ready for it. So it's a much greater impact than you would think an event normally would. Especially if like you're you know, climbing into bed on the second or something, and then all of a sudden it's boom, boom, boom. Uh, so uh, lighting, uh, t -t -t -t. there are a few ways to ensure our veterans can safely enjoy fireworks on the 4th of July, including giving your neighbors a head up before you start lighting off fireworks. However, maybe the biggest thing a person can do to help our veterans during Independence Day celebrations is to get to know them and invite them to join the fun. By giving the veteran the opportunity to make the decision for themselves, what, you, what you're giving them is control. And that's what a lot of PTSD is caused by. It it's, is that complete loss of control, that complete loss of the ability to manage what's going on around you, Randall explained. So you deliver them back the control where they can say, yes, I'd love to come, but I'm going to leave before the fireworks start, or no, I can't make it, but thank you so much. 
they now know that they've been engaged on the personal level, they've been invited somewhere, and they feel better about it. If you would like to learn more about Bearded Warriors, you can find out more uh, and even volunteer. Uh, you're encouraged to check them out on their Facebook page, and they have a link here. I'll try to put that up. All right. Just want to share that with everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great and safe 4th of July. I appreciate each and every one of you. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.